Hello everyone, welcome back to SKC channel. In this video today we are going to see about how does the internet work. And if you are watching our channel for the first time, please subscribe our channel and also you can click the bell icon for immediate notifications. So when we think about the internet, what comes to our mind? That means from where we are getting the information and how it is transmitting and what are the things happening in between the transmission. So these are the things we are going to see in this video. Come, let's get into the video. This video you are currently watching know where actually it is stored. That means somewhere it has to be stored. Then only when you request this video means you can get it know. So like that all the generated information or data stored in a data center. So this data center has many servers to store the information. And let's see how the information is transferring from this data center to our mobile. So if we give any request means from the data center the data starts to flow through the optical fiber cable. And we can say this optical fiber cable is a backbone of our internet. So through this optical fiber cable the information will reach to our ISP that means internet service provider. Who are all providing the internet they are called as the internet service providers for example Airtel, Vodafone, Jio they are all internet service providers. From ISP the information will reach through optical fiber cable to the corresponding cell tower. So if you are using Airtel means you can get the information from the Airtel cell tower through the electromagnetic waves. So this is how information is transferring to your mobile. So during this transmission we should consider the IP address. This IP address is nothing but like your home address. Let me explain you this IP address is related to our postal letter system. So in that letter we have um, our home address that means uh, what is our door number and street number. So all the things will be there. Then only it will reach to the correct destination. So like that all the devices it may be mobile, laptop or modem has unique IP address. Like that website also has the unique IP addresses. And our ISP only providing the IP address. And for example if you have any three mobile numbers means you can identify whose numbers is this. But we have many friends and many mobile numbers so we could not identify whose is this. For that what we will do? We will maintain one phone book. That means we will enter the name corresponding to the mobile number. So like that in internet also we have many IP addresses. That means in our home itself we have three mobile phones, two laptops. So like that around us also many IP addresses are there. For that the internet is maintaining one big phone book that is DNS domain name server like that all the websites has IP addresses for example YouTube is a domain name for that corresponding IP addresses will be there these all domain name versus IP address will maintain by DNS domain name server and this DNS also maintained by our internet service provider only now let's recap the whole process so in browser you are typing youtube.com uh, into a mobile phone no and that browser will send a request signal to our DNS this DNS is managed by our ISP no so this DNS will get the corresponding IP address after getting the IP address it will forward the request signal to our data center to the respective server once the server gets a request to access the particular website that means uh, youtube.com the data flow stops this data is transferred in a digital format through this optical fiber cable only for example, you are watching this video, you know, this actually stored in a digital format, that means zeros and ones. And in data center, our server will convert all the information into small, small packets. Each package consists of 6 bits, that means 0, 1, 0, 1, like that, 6 bits will be there. Then only it starts to flow. And each packet has its sequence number and IP addresses of the server and our phone also. So with this information only the data packet will start to flow. So here all the packets are not transferring line by line or continuously, not like that. Each packet will take the individual path to flow. That means it will identify which route is fastest route. So like that only it will travel. So after reaching your cell tower, it will reassemble all the packets with the sequence number. After that only we are receiving the information through the electromagnetic waves. So that only we are watching the videos continuously, no? 
and if we lost any packet means the acknowledgement will send by our phone and then it will resend the lost packet also so these are all the things are happening before you are receiving the information but all these functions will happen in a fraction of second because through this optical fiber cable that the information will flow as a light signal that's why we are getting the information in a fraction of second and this ip address assignment and domain name registration this is managed by an institution called ICANN. It is located in USA. And for this communication, we need a set of rules. That means here we are using the protocols. That is for transmitting the information, we are using the TCP IP protocol. Like that for web access, that means Google or Amazon, like that website access means we are using the HTTP protocol. Like that live video streaming, for that we are using RTP protocol. Like that for communication purpose we are using the different protocols then only it will reach the correct destination so yes this is how the internet works and you can use this same science model for a science exhibition also and we hope that this information will be very helpful to you and if you like the video hit the like button and also if you want to share with your family and friends please share this video and please don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching